So this is an Echinopsis hybrid called Big Bertha. So there's a lot of different types of Echinopsis cactus that have been hybridized in the nursery by cactophils, you know, people that like cactus. They like to hybridize these guys. This one's called Big Bertha because the plant itself is larger than most of the Echinopsis hybrids. So they're tall and cylindrical. They have this sort of accordion shaped ribs down the spine and then the pattern of the spines on each aerial. Each one of these little clusters of spines is called an aerial and the pattern of those spines is unique to Echinopsis. The location of the flowers all kind of growing on the ridges but away from the center of the plant. That's a characteristic of Echinopsis. There are other similar cylindrical shaped cactus that have the flowers that all come from like a little circular area right up at the top of the plant, you know. But these will, these will bloom from different locations on the stem. So an interesting cool thing about cactus, I'll just point this out since we're here looking at this one, the spines are modified. You can consider the spines to be modified leaves. And so for most you know, leafy plants, the photosynthesis part happens on the leaf surface. Cactus have adapted themselves so that the photosynthesis happens on the stem of the plant. The leaves or the spines are there actually to provide shelter and shade to that skin of the plant that's doing photosynthesis. It's ribbed because when water is abundant and it can soak up a lot of water, it will actually expand. Really? It'll expand and like fill itself up with water. Like a puffer fish. Or like something. a puffer fish. <laughs> but then these flowers, of course, these flowers, it puts off these huge giant white flowers that pop out about that big and they're just really spectacular. So we can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven flower buds ready to go. These will bloom in the next couple days. So they're definitely a late spring, early summer bloomer. It'll probably bloom at nighttime, but it'll, it'll be there throughout the most of the next day. Cool. So it's like you wake up in the morning and pow, there she is. But then that one flower will only last that one day. By the end of the day, the flower will have drooped down and can be ready to fall off. Most cactus flowers last one day. That's why it's cool to have a cactus garden with a whole bunch of different cactus species because every day you've got something new blooming, but you gotta, you gotta see it the day that it blooms because it's only gonna give you that one day.